But I just say that we are moving on to another incredible match. Noel, another player that doesn't seem to have the same success online as he does on land. Is this the change to players' pace? Are they finally showing up more online than the they are offline? They might be, but Noel specifically has had trouble. Like you talk about his good land placements, he has always had trouble against Boomy in the past. Going back to like CEO Dreamland singles, Boomy just completely demolished Noel and ended up taking that tournament. Going big with the ground pound there, tried to get the down air as the spike. Boomy still just looks like he's the one controlling this. Definitely has the damage lead right now. Yep. Uh, I love how both Boomy and Sansom are picking characters that they don't actually play it. Like, for the most part, you know what I mean? Bo Boomy, extremely strong uh, player on Diana, and that is what he normally plays. And his off pick is that Rex. However, showing up with the Knicks has the guns, which is Boomy is so known for, and has the Scythe, which Boomy has been practicing lately because of the 2v2 with Sandstorm. Sandstorm, on the other hand, picking up that fate, not playing his Mordex. These two players are almost mimicking each other, and they're partners. Well, with Boomy's picks, they're definitely more um, unorthodox. Because if you play Blasters, you don't really pick Nyx. If you play Scythe, you don't really pick Nyx. If you're going for Blasters, you play usually Diana. Yeah. Um, occasionally, Ooh, we see some Cassidy's there. now. If you play Scythe, you usually pick the Mordex. We're seeing more Fates crop up. And we see some Mirages as well. Like, we don't see Nyx. Like, Effie plays Nyx, and that's kind of it. At least with Noel, like we see a lot of people yeah. with the Koji pick. That's definitely a more meta pick oh boy. than the Nyx is. Man, Boomy versus Noel is always such an interesting match to be. Wow, oh, that's oh. Sassy. The old Noel going deep. Wow, yeah. I'm not happy with how he's recovering right there. That that was a sad 10 out of 10 times, but it's fine. And Noel's Noel's one of the players that I really, really oh wow. Sparky, I can't even finish my thoughts because as I'm doing it, they just find these options that you don't usually see in, in uh, High Level Brawlhalla. The thing yeah, about Boomy and Noel when they play against each other is that they really go for these unorthodox type of uh, edge gameplay against each other. They feel like whoever has the edge on that is going to be the victor. Because we have seen it in the past, uh, back even back uh, in 2017 in CEO Dreamland, when they would just both go crazy off stage for close to like, I, I, I almost have to say no reason. It was more like a, I'm gonna sh show my dominance over you. Both players are trying to dominate each other. Oh, what a four piece, man. Yeah. Following it up, ending that with a weapon toss. Now he has Noel on the edge, almost a complete full stock lead at this point. Noel's looking to juggle just a little bit. You see the nice side air. Boomy's over, sent off screen. Noel's just a little bit above him. He's probing with those nares, trying to keep himself safe in case Noel wants to come down with a down air. But Noel does get right below Boomy, picks up the recovery, gets the kill. Not too far behind at this point, about 60 damage. Now about closer probably to 80 damage. Looking to juggle again. Okay. There's the side light. Fine. Almost He's picks hit. up the neutral light hit. You see Boomy on that soft Not platform. Again. Noel has to be careful about the reverse slide charge down sync. Boomy already did that once off of the soft platform. Both Ooh. players stacked. Almost picks up that, that ground pound. That so probably would have led nice. to a kill. Boomy's below Noel. He has to be careful. He's able to get back onto the main platform. Oh, There's the side what? signature. He's able to spot dodge through it. One of the most crazy players when it comes to dodges. However, it doesn't matter because Boomy finds the side here. Now, that's one of the things, like, we uh, we disagreed a little bit about the the side signature yeah. yesterday. That's one of the things that why I'm not the biggest fan of the side signature is because it may have quite a few active frames in terms of just like frames that it's throwing out hitboxes, but they're not active in the same spot for a long time. It's not a uh, Azoth bow side signature that can catch out a spot dodge. It's definitely spot dodgeable if you do it at the right time. You're not covering a lot of area all at one moment. So that's one of the things that I'm not a big fan of with that signature. I agree with you, but that signature is not easy to spot dodge. It, it's way hard to spot dodge in like Koji side sync on bow as an example way way I would, way i'll harder. agree with that for sure um that move is generally hard it's more about Noel's freakish ability to spot dodge long moves because i have seen him spot dodge the most insanely uh long active friends oh wow oh, boom oh, oh. Noel, chase touch. he gets That's the chase touch. dodge up just barely gets back to the platform even though he was off screen he he had the chance and he took the chance to get back. Oh, he, oh my gosh, he out. almost caught Boomy out of that spot dodge. That would have led to a kill very early. Why down there? Oh. Man, these players are just going wild off stage. This is, what I'm tell this is what I'm saying. These players care more about the dominant fashion when they play against each other. Individually, 
Boomy is more about, I want to have complete dominance, uh, do big crazy stuff against pretty much everyone. But Noel is a bit more controlled, and then he sho sho shows his wild side. There we have that truck. Yep. If they're at the end of the stage, and you use that side stick, it is close to unpunished rules, and you will just have to avoid it by either going off stage or going all the way above it. That seems so and that's hard that's where he didn't have the time. Oh, look he at spot this. dodged that a little bit too early, and by the time that little hook, that upward hook finished, he was out of those uh, invincibility frames. There's the recovery. He's going to keep it dead even, but I think them going for the, the dominant play, you're exactly right on that because they're looking for kills in orange. Their kill options are coming out when their opponent is orange. You're seeing Boomy yep. do stuff like that. You're seeing these long extended edge guard sequences when oh, they're in sucks. orange, not when they're in red, not when they're in kill that's percent. They're there. looking for these early kills from Brown. both players. <gasps> Reefs the soul does not end up killing him, even though he was in red. That was interesting. He was really far off to the right side, I guess. Boomy doesn't matter. One of the most sufficient Proficient players are falling down and doing recoveries. It's as if recoveries are a part of the just kill set all the time. Because oh, yeah, seriously, definitely. like it's not about they go up and then he recoveries whenever. It's grounded every single time. He does these nice tempos, uh, I mean tempo jumps where he just like quick bounces up and down and then finds the recovery instantaneously. It's one of the few players in the game that can manage to do that. And wow. <gasps> that's huge, that's huge, that's the kill. I have to clap for that because not a lot of gun players understand that after a grab pound when they don't have a dodge, you can straight up chase dodge down and down there. It yep. is incredible how Boomy has and he caught the jump with control. that too. Yes. Noel panic jumped immediately and you he have caught to. him with the down air. You have to. It's not even a panic jump. You have to because you're not going to touch. What he can do is go to the side, wait for him, then hit him, and then chase out off of it because you're not getting around that. Uh, yeah. You have to basically get a chase on shit. And that's a 50-50 at that point, but he wasn't ready for the scenario. And the world doesn't pull off stuff that he hasn't seen before or practiced against. And I bet you he hasn't seen that and he hasn't practiced or been ready for that scenario. Maybe yeah, a player like Simba could have pulled off something like that, but Boomy had that locked in. That's something we don't see hardly ever. I mean, we've only seen it from Boomy once so far, and it looked like that was muscle memory. Like, he was ready for that. He knew exactly what to do there. It wasn't, okay, I think I'm going to go for a ground pound. Oh, <gasps> that ground oh, pound hit. My oh my mood. gosh. I love that. I love the dash slide charge neutral signature. That's such a good option on the edge. It is pretty punishable if you don't time it right. But again, these things coming out from Boomy, he's not fishing for them. He's doing them once and they lead to a kill. Just like the ground pound dare ground pound. He does it once and then he knows, okay, I'm not going to get away with that again. I got a stock from it. I'm not going to do the risk anymore. I got it one time. I'm going to take it. It's actually way harder to punish than you think because if you rush against it, they can actually just nair. They just jump near you instantly. You're yep. not gonna. You're not actually. You're not gonna, only spear deer can actually professionally like uh, challenge that without getting uh, messed up too hard. Oh my! Finds these dudes like whenever he goes above. Oh, again. oh, he goes for another one. What is this hitbox knowledge? He knows the character so much better today than he did yesterday. Maybe he's even more armored. Look at his movement. He's feeling himself. He was lagging yesterday. He's feeling himself. Uh, and I, Creed told me that as well. So I firmly believe yeah, that he was definitely himself. lagging yesterday. His gameplay looked like he was lagging yesterday. Definitely when you compare it to any of his past tournaments and when you compare it to what he's doing today with his Knicks pick, he's not throwing out those goofy raw side signatures that are getting punished oh, or leading nair, to kills nair, or anything nair. like that. He's hitting his side signatures. His movement's amazing. His gunplay is amazing. This. His off stage is amazing. And Noel's really starting to struggle against oh. it. Oh, what a punish. Okay, it doesn't kill. Knicks. Actually, I think if, if that was a 3 defense character, that, ca that might have actually been enough on, on this map. Wow, getting that side air into ground pound into Sarah. He's nice not dead yet. Sarah. Oh, oh no. Well. Oh, oh he just did a little so bit too much. much. So he went for a suicide side air. Uh, it is basically uh, getting a hit when he has nothing, but it's very guaranteed. So it's.